It is an indispensable aspect of every human to eat and appreciate food. And this human trait is very evident in a mob boss. The extent to which we love and eat food varies from individual to individual because we all have our limits as regards to what we can eat and how much food we can take in per time. While some of us can eat several times a day, some of us barely eat two meals a day and only eat because the body must be able to function. A lot of people love food, but some of us are just indifferent about food and do not eat until when they feel the need to, more like eating because it's necessary. This is not a trait of a mob boss at all. You would think a mob boss is only fierce when it comes to committing crimes, but on the contrary, they are just as passionate when it comes to food. That is why you will find the best bet to lure a mob boss or get them to be on your side is to offer them a great meal. A lot of them have secret recipes which they use to prepare their meals, but generally, it's no secret that a mob boss is passionate about good food. Welcome back to the Good Health Gorilla. In today's video, we will be going over how to eat like a mob boss and appreciate food. If you are brand new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below, letting us know what other topics you would want for us to cover on the channel. Who is a mob boss? If you know anything about a mob boss, then you must know that the center of their world is bloody killings and all manner of crimes. And they also have their way of escaping the law, even after committing heinous crimes, more like hiding in plain sight. A mob boss is a person in charge of a criminal syndicate and has absolute control, or at least near absolute control, over its soldiers. They have a fierceness and ruthlessness to their personality, and they are greatly feared, not just by the public, but also by their soldiers. That's because they do not hesitate to kill when it gets to the point where they need to prove their power. Since they act all tough, you would think this category of people would be very cautious about where and when they eat, but no, they love food. They especially love Italian cuisine, and it's only normal because most mob bosses are of Italian origin, although they have some of them from a different origin. To what extent does a mob boss love food? Food appreciation can be found in every mob boss, and we think every human should incorporate this. For as far back as the 1950s, mob bosses have been in connection with organized food crimes. If you watch movies like The Godfather and Goodfellas, you will find that food was mostly the bait to getting a mob boss, despite their power. It has even led a few of them to their death. The best place to find a mob boss is at an Italian restaurant where they are probably hanging out with their friends with a sumptuous meal before them. Some of them even organize dinners and leave their windows open so that the scent can go all over and they can savor it. In the words of Dr. Filia Alum, a senior lecturer in Italian history and politics at Bath University, companies associated with the mafia have become involved in the whole of the food chain process, from making the food to transporting it and selling it. If you would be associated with a mob boss, then you have to have power and control over the food supply chain because that is one of the most effective ways to hold them in your trust. And a mob boss won't have it if there is a shortage of food supply. In 2010, 67 people were arrested in southern Italy after the police discovered a 20-year plot to control the trade of fresh fruit and vegetables. Dr. Filia Alum further adds that in her opinion, the appeal of agri-food to the mob is partly that it is very close to the land and physical control of the land is a main driver of the mafia infiltration. Now you understand why and to what extent the mob bosses love food. How then do you eat like one? How can you eat like a mob boss? What makes eating like a mob boss different is that it doesn't just focus on the type of food eaten, but also on the mood you eat with. Although all mob bosses love Italian cuisine, each of them have their favorite food, which is mostly different from what another mob boss loves. Eating like a mob boss focuses on food appreciation and genuine enjoyment of every meal. It centers on eating healthy meals with friends and family. If you want to eat like a mob boss, then you have to appreciate food just the way they do. A mob boss eats at every opportunity and does not hold back when they eat. According to Joseph Joe Dogs Iannuzzi, mobsters love to eat. They eat while planning a crime and they eat after committing crimes. And when there are no crimes, they eat while waiting for it to happen. This only tells us that a mob boss focuses on getting in enough food to meet their daily energy requirements and stay healthy. Mob bosses have types of food they are particular about, but the major chase when eating like a mob boss is to love food and eat healthy meals the way they do. If you love food the way a mob boss does, then you will have the drive to eat deliciously prepared and healthy foods too. What food does a mob boss eat? Al Capone, the most iconic and ruthless gangster, loved his spaghetti and walnut sauce. He even traded his fedora hat for it at some point. Lucky Luciano loved his kosher green pickles alongside corned beef sandwiches. When he was in prison and the US Naval Intelligence visited him for assistance, they offered him a hamper of food that contained his favorite pickles alongside other foods. This was enough to buy him over. Meyer Lansky loved his cheese blitzes. Carlos Marcello loved spaghetti like Al Capone, just that he chose to have his with meatballs. 
He also loved oysters, shrimp, and fettuccine. John Gotti stuck with Cracker Barrels and ate chicken, biscuits, and chicken fried steaks without considering if it lived up to his high standard. The discrepancies in these foods does nothing to the fact that most of them are fresh vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats, and this proves that they ate healthy. Understanding their food choices Most of the foods eaten by mob bosses are of Italian origin, or at least popular among Italians. Italian cuisine is an integral part of the Mediterranean diet, which is considered the best diet for cardio health. It uses only healthy food materials such as wheat, grape, and olive, which translates into pasta and bread, olive oil, and wine. What mob bosses ate contained these ingredients, which is a confirmation that mob bosses did not just love food, they also ate healthy foods. Italian cuisine is known for simplicity because it focuses on the quality of the ingredients used and not the quantity. This helps to keep the meal simple and healthy. The major ingredients of Italian meals include fruits, vegetables, cheese, sauces, and meat. Some regions use more fish in replacement for meat. Traditional Italian cuisine was more elaborate than it is now and involved up to five courses. At this time, meals as large as that are only reserved for special occasions like weddings. Simpler meals that include about two courses, a side dish, and coffee are the main deal currently. One of the major reasons why mob bosses and Italians love food is because of the atmosphere they create around each meal by eating with friends and family. This makes eating all fun and gives them time to bond with people around them. I doubt there's a possibility that you wouldn't look forward to every meal if you surround yourself with people you're fond of when you're eating. Let's consider what you stand to gain by eating Italian cuisine like the mob bosses. Benefits of eating like a mob boss As earlier established, eating like a mob boss entails appreciating food and eating healthy meals. And when you eat healthily, then you must expect benefits from it. Eating like a mob boss helps to keep the heart healthy and lowers the risk of heart diseases because it uses olive oil and other fresh natural ingredients which have been found to lower the risk of heart diseases. It also helps to improve overall health and reduce the risk of chronic diseases like cancer. The diet also uses whole grains, which are high in fiber, and aid in digestion and stabilize blood sugar levels. It also helps to control weight, since it doesn't focus on food high in calories, but on food that has a nutritional value, such as tomatoes, leafy greens, and onions. This helps to control weight. One of the benefits of the Italian diet is the love and goodwill that goes with its preparation and consumption. It helps to build relationships and celebrate friends and family. It also keeps the mood light, which is the greatest necessity to every human. While this and many other benefits are a good enough reason to eat like a mob boss, you might want to consider some things that you need to avoid while eating like a mob boss. Things you might want to avoid while eating like a mob boss. Indeed, a mob boss loves food and eating like a mob boss centers on food appreciation, but eating like one should not be a yardstick for overeating. There's a difference between appreciating food, eating adequate amounts at the right time, and overeating. While appreciating food leaves in you the consciousness that you should always follow a healthy diet, to meet your body needs and eat at the appropriate time, overeating is simply you taking in more food than your body requires at the time. Loving food does not mean that food has to control you. It doesn't mean that you have to eat even when your body already has enough. It doesn't mean that you should be in the wrong places simply because you're being offered a free meal. It means you appreciate food and how it's a nature's blessing. So there you have it. Eating like a mob boss is a good idea and it starts by you taking time to savor every meal even before you even take a bite. It involves you fully taking in your meal before eating so that you will enjoy your deliciously prepared meals with friends and family and everybody that matters. Food is a part of life, and if you must improve your quality of life, you must focus on how you eat. What did you think of today's topic? And would you like to see more videos like these? Share with us your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed today's video, check out this related video to see more. Until next time.